Hi, St. Agnes. This is Mrs. D. Simone. I am going to do two follow-up demonstrations for the clay salt dough. And what I did was I experimented with food dye, with food coloring. I bought a neon food coloring. Oh, wasn't that funny? I bought neon food coloring. I bought regular food coloring and they also have big containers of the food coloring. So I did some experimentation. This one, which I think looks like a bacon bowl because this was from this red. I didn't know how much I'd need and I wound up mixing it all together, which I'll show you how to do. And then I had a container that was this size. So I put the aluminum foil in the container and I pressed this around and then I wound up putting a white lip to it. And I have red all over my fingers. Then this one, I made a small bowl and what I decided to do was just drip the food dye in there to see what that looked like. And I actually like the way that turned out better than my bacon bowl. So I saw some, a video on an art uh, clay demonstration um, in my regular clay stuff. So I thought maybe I could experiment and see if it turns out with this. So what I did was I got the, made some more clay dough and I rolled it into fat coils. So I have a yellow one, a blue one, I'm gonna do another one, and then I'm gonna have a white one. I decided that I actually like the colors better in the regular one. I'm not real crazy about the, the way the neon colors turned out, which is pretty odd the way I thought. So what I'm doing is, this is going to be what I'm gonna work on, my aluminum foil and I'm gonna take this pink one. This is the only neon one that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna take this, pinch it out, put a couple dots in, and your hands are gonna get colored. So don't have a heart attack if your hands get colored. And then you are going to squish it through. Now this one looks like a raspberry color, actually a blackberry color, not raspberry, blackberry. And if this is not dark enough for you, you can always go back and put some more in and then squish it through. Or if you wanted to, instead of having it all one color, you could have it sort of a striped color where it's darker in some areas and lighter in the other. Then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of flour in my hand because it's too wet. Roll it like this. And now I have one, two, three, four colors. This is gross, so what I'm gonna do is clean my hands in my little tub over here. And I always like to use recycled paper towels. I use them, actually I use this to clean the windows on the car today. You can see my hands are a little colored. It's only food dye, food coloring. That'll come off soon. So what I'm gonna do is take this, put some of this on my hands. Take this, put that there. Put this one right here. Put this one right next to it. Put this one right next to that. Then I'm gonna take this, fold it up, and I'm gonna throw it. Pick it up, throw it down. They do this in ceramics with different colors of clay that they stain with this stuff called mason dyes. Mason stains. <clears throat> so I figured why not do that with the food coloring. And if I take a knife, and I have two knives from the kitchen, I'm gonna take the one that's a little sharp and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle to see what it looks like. And you can see, it's pretty cool looking. Now, I've noticed that this is sticking right here. It's pretty warm out today, so what I'm gonna do is take my 
spray butter and I'm gonna spray on this so it doesn't really stick too much. Okay, put that over there. Put this back in here. Then I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna squish, squish, I'm just gonna throw. Then I took a bowl and I put the aluminum foil on it. I sprayed it, you can see my yellow spray in there. Then I'm gonna take this and do pretty much what I did last week where I squish this out and you can see how pretty it is. This to me is a prettier side, so I'm gonna use this as the top. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to start to squish around. Now I don't have enough clay made to go all the way up to the top but you remember from the demo last week. So I'm gonna make a little bowl with this color. This is pretty, this is very pretty. I'm gonna take one of my clay tools and put a little bit of water in it. And what I'm gonna do is actually just push down and make an edge. So I'll have a small bowl. I think this is gorgeous. All with food coloring. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is, a little bit of water on my finger, smooth this so it's not so sticky. Stick up I mean, a little flatter. And then I'm gonna let this dry. Then after that, I'm gonna put it in the oven so that it gets pretty. You can hear how hard it gets. I find putting them in the oven is the best thing to do. This, believe it or not, was in the oven for about two hours. So was this one. I know on the directions, they tell you to do it for 20 minutes, but I did it for um, 180 degrees or 200 degrees for about an hour and a half, two hours. Now, another thing that I saw on the internet, which I thought was pretty cool, you can make a cat. And I'm gonna drip this in here. So I'm gonna make a round piece. Then I'm gonna do another round piece. That'll be the body. This will be the head. And I'm gonna attach that right on there. So if you see, that's the head, this is the body. Just get a little bit of water because I want to get rid of that line there. Then two circles for the eyes. One circle, two circles. Triangle for the nose. You can see my triangle for the nose. Let me turn it so you can see it. Triangle for the nose. Then I'm going to take this tool and I'm gonna go right up here. Split this nose a bit. I'm gonna take another tool. Hmm. This tool. Come right in here. Right in here. So there I have that. Then what I'm gonna do is, ooh, it's a funny nose. I'm going to put a tail. This will be a fat tail. You can see my tail. Some ears, one ear, 
Now you're gonna do a nice job. I'm doing a rush job. You're gonna do a really nice job. Just like that. We're gonna put some legs, front legs. Ooh, pretty big. Leg there. I must put the leg under the mouth. The leg here. Now my legs are ugly. You're gonna make your legs look nice. I'm using the back of a paintbrush. Then, this is gonna be the fun part. Take this. Have it go around like that. Get another color. Go right in the eye. Get a green. Put a dot here and a dot there. I mean, just play as much as you want. So then I take my brush, my paintbrush, and if I want to, I can color it before it goes into the oven. Now this is messy. I'm just playing. You play with whatever you want. So you can put the food coloring on in the clay, or you can put the food coloring on later. And then this would go into the oven. Let's give them some whiskers. All right, you get the idea. I'll give them some hair. All right, so this is Mrs. T. Simone signing off. Here we have the marbleized clay with food coloring. And then we have this rushed cat with two circles, two lines, and then I painted the food coloring on. Both of these go into the oven just like that. So this is Mrs. D. Simone signing off. Bye.